Hi everyone. Thank you for your kind words, I really appreciate it. I feel better now, and I must admit that I can't stuck on my bed doing nothing, because open up my laptop is such a cure. So, here we go again. Like most people in the world today, I grew up being indoctrinated to believe Christopher Columbus was a hero that discovered America, nothing could be further from the truth. Not only did Christopher Columbus not discover the Americas, since it was already inhabited, and he was actually in search of India, and therefore lost, but he was what could justifiably be called a psychopath, since he oversaw mass murders, tortures, and rapes, carried out under his watch. In fact, he helped facilitate what came to arguably be the greatest genocide in known human history. The world might have never known about what really took place here, had it not been for the investigative journalism of a priest, named Bartolom de las Casas, who in the beginning supported Christopher Columbus, until he became aware of the atrocities being committed. He wrote a book, entitled, A Short Account of the Destruction of the Indies, which documented some of the most disturbing crimes against humanity in history. In his writing, de las Casas documents how the invading colonizers brutally slaughtered babies, burned innocent civilians alive, cut off the hands of workers who did not meet their quota for mining precious resources, and tortured and sexually trafficked women and children, amongst other things that invariably come to document the beginnings of an indefensible genocide, which has gotten far too little attention in the history books. Of course, many people would argue that the native population were savages and backwards, but Christopher Columbus's journal clearly refutes these claims, where he himself noted how remarkably kind and giving they were, how they shared everything they had, and how they had no iron or steel, nor any weapons, and were the most timorous creatures there are in the world. This is not to say that all native tribes were the same, since we have historical evidence of tribes that were proficient in war and terror tactics, and Columbus himself made note of a very ferocious tribe as well, but on his encounter with these particular people, that proved not to be the case, and yet he still took them by force, and ended up exploiting them in egregious and horrible ways. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Although the common person would blame religion, as if it has a mind of its own, for these grave crimes against humanity, they were actually originally inspired by profit and greed. Historically, this has almost always been the case, with public justification being that the authorities are spreading Christianity, or the more modern, propaganda of spreading democracy. You see, Columbus was sponsored by the Crown of Castile, in hopes of finding a land rich in natural resources and minerals. And when he returned, with news that supported their hopes, including slave labor to be exploited, and a people that could easily be conquered, they proceeded forward with their plan. Through inner circle politics, the Spanish elitists then contacted Pope Alexander VI from the rich and reputedly corrupt Borgio family and had him give a public declaration in the name of God that stated they had rights to steal the land there and justify an invasion and enslavement of the locals through the use of politically persuasive language of course by making it seem like they were on a mission to help create a better world and fight evil. In fact, Columbus documented in his own journal that should I meet with gold or spices in great quantity, I shall remain, till I collect as much as possible, and for this purpose, I am proceeding solely in quest of them. In short, it was never truly about spreading religion, that was more of a cover story, it was always about profit and greed. This might seem foolish and naive for people to believe by today's standards, but the same thing still goes on, to this very day, except the Pope has been largely replaced by the TV and mass media. In other words, the public gets deceived into supporting these crimes through the use of clever propaganda by the ruling class and their cronies, on the grounds of believing it to be a humanitarian campaign. But it's not about religion, it's about a cancerous so-called elite exploiting the vulnerabilities of human nature. The greatest threat to mankind and all of life on this beautiful world is not climate change, overpopulation, terrorism, racism, or resource scarcity. No, the greatest threat to mankind is the same today as it was over a thousand years ago. We are ruled over by parasitical psychopaths who plunge us into war, manipulate us against each other, and flood our minds with fear, hate, bigotry and ignorance, with every chance that they get. 
This is an important distinction to make, that a small minority, are the true root cause of the problem, because far too often in relation to history, those who are not well researched, will blame the crimes of the very few on the many, an entire skin color, religion, country, political party, etc., without considering the proper context of what really took place. Correspondingly, those who have been indoctrinated to associate their sense of identity with their flag, skin color, religion, or other social construct, such as an historical figure like Christopher Columbus, will often fall into the trap of becoming defensive of that, which is essentially indefensible. Based on historical record, Christopher Columbus oversaw some of the most brutal crimes against humanity in history, and to try and defend him, only comes across as being insane, indifferent, or severely indoctrinated. If you are white or European, you do not have to identify with the crimes of Christopher Columbus as representing who you are, any more than Native Americans need to identify with mass rapes and murders, carried out by factions within tribes like the Comanche in the past, as being representative of who they are, or African Americans need to identify with serial killer and rapist Henry Louis Wallace. There is good and bad in all races and religions, but generally more good than bad, as demonstrated in studies on human nature. So, don't fall into the trap of ever blaming an entire group of people, or defending that which should be condemned, because you have deluded yourself into thinking you are personally being blamed. I realize, there is no shortage of propaganda going around to fuel this device of fire, but, that does not mean you and I, have to indulge in this silly game, and become a part of the problem. This essentially amounts to clever politics and psychological warfare on part of the high-level ruling class, because what this invariably does, is create division amongst the very people that need to unite, in order to intelligently deal with the true root cause of the problem. The good news is, more and more people have become aware that Christopher Columbus was no hero, but a criminal of the highest order, and have actually helped change the traditional holiday of Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day. Although, this is undoubtedly a victory, the overwhelming majority still remain largely unaware of how the ruling class continue to exploit the vulnerabilities of human nature. They do this by manipulating our perception of who our real enemy is, in an effort to justify their selfish insatiable greed of invading foreign lands, and exploiting both domestic and foreign people across the world, amongst other things. If you are interested to learn more about the crimes committed against the Native American people, and the true history of Christopher Columbus's discovery, you can watch an award-winning documentary on what really took place, called, The Canary Effect, Check the link in the description box below. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.